Okay, folks, I got something here that I forgot that I've been trying to use. And just to show you, I'm going to be shooting with the uh, these type of lenses, the old F-mount lenses with aperture rings on this camera, the Z6 III, okay? It has a 26 millimeter, and I've been using that lately quite a bit, but I want a wider field of view. So you get crop sensor lenses and stuff, but then he times it by 1.5. You can't get really anything lower because I could use the 12 to 28 DX lens and that would give me like an 18. All right. But what if I want it lower, but I want it smaller and a pancake lens? Well, there is an advantage. So I have these lenses with the FT uh, Z adapter and some more lenses and stuff, more lenses in this uh, case. But I just want to show you something. So I also bring adapters. So this is the Megadap ATZ21 Pro adapter, the newest one out. Okay. This can put Sony lenses on a Nikon camera. What if I use the Sony full frame 16 millimeter pancake lens? on the camera on that camera let's find out all right i forgot this is uh, an APS-C lens so i've used the sony's APS-C's like the sigma the 10 to 18 the 10 to 20 with the sony the 11 millimeter with the sony they work great i haven't put it on this camera yet what I love about this camera is basically, and let me repeat this and get a closer shot. Basically, with this camera, I can put any type of lens on there without going into the non-CPU part, and it handled it. Just on the old D lens and AFS or AI lenses, you just make sure that the aperture is on uh, uh, stop down all the way. It works great, okay? You'll see a little vignetting around the corners. So I'm going to stop the video and just turn on VR and see what happens. So I just turned on the VR, okay? The digital. I already had the other VR on, but I put on the digital. The vignetting is gone and this should give me like a 24 millimeter so if I hand hold this so you can see me doing the mirror now I'm going to turn this around look at that that's pretty good I'm not even taking the whole screen so that's acting like a 16 millimeter so I don't know if this camera recognizes that this is an APS-C lens, and I'll show you why. Okay. So I'll turn that off. Like this. Turn it off. All right. No vignetting. It's in uh, crop sensor mode. And it looks the same. Okay. I might be a little bit bigger on the um, 16 millimeter. But you can vlog with this lens on a Sony. I'm recording at crop 10 bit H265. 4K 30. Let's try 5K, shall we? So, the vignette is back at 6K, all right, at 6K 60, okay? 
I'm going to go down to step 230, see if it's still there. You know what I'm going to do next. So, anybody uh, vlog at 6K30? Beginning is still there. I'm going to go to 24. If it's still there, then I'm just going to put on the digital stabilization. That's all I'm going to do. And just to show you, it's still there. 6K30, or I think it's 24 now. So, next I'm going to put on the digital stabilization. Because if I put it at 4K120, it's automatically going to crop. But a lot smaller, okay, compared to the 4K. So, I'm going to put on a digital stabilization now. So, no digital stabilization on this lens, okay? So it got me thinking. I'm going to put on a Sony lens, which does have stabilization, and we'll see if the Vignetti goes at 6K. Well, folks, a little bummed out that I can't get this lens, which is real nice. It's a uh, 16 millimeter, but it's a crop lens. It's kind of like a 24 on the. Uh, Sony and uh, I can only do 4k 60 no vignetting right so the crop is in effect as in 1.5 but uh, let's try the 4k 120 see what happens That's pretty reasonable. 4K 120, a little bit bigger. But I'm in the frame, right? Let's put on some stabilization. Now you see, this caused me some trouble before, but I'm not gonna run it for a half an hour and stuff. I'm trying to decide if it's the CF Express card or the other card. Well, by the way, I'm writing to the SD card. Take that back. I am writing to the CF Express card. But it's just short little clips or clips. 4K 120, folks. On a Sony 16mm DX lens, which is kind of like a 24. Okay. And then with the crop. But you see how wide it is? Now, just to finish this video to see if it works, I'm going to get the 12 to 28 and put it on this bad boy. There's one big difference though. This is a f2.8. I am looking at the Sony F mount version. Well, I'm sorry, the Nikon version. But it's a, a Sigma. 10 to 18, f1.8. So uh, I think that's an awesome though. But uh, just want to do that. Now I'm going to turn this off and switch it to 12 to 28. Okay. So Peter Gregg was asking me about the DX 12 to 28. He uses. Uh, DX lenses on his uh, Sony ZV-E1 in full frame. And, and he'll turn on the stabilization a little bit for crop. So I'm at 4K 120. Look how small the lens is. Compared to this, it's much smaller. But this is uh, a native lens to the Z. What do you think? Is this good enough for a vlogging lens? A lot of people don't talk about that. The 12 to 28. So, let's see if I can turn on stabilization digitally for this lens. Well, folks, a little disappointed. I mean, I can increase it if I wanted to. And this is to uh, 28 millimeters. I can only do the regular VR, I can do the normal or sport, okay? 
still a great lens, but no one thought, you know, they thought about the 26 millimeter, okay, as a good vlogging lens. And of course, you got the 24 and the other ones, but they're humongous. I'm looking for a small lens that can carry around that I can vlog, okay? So look at the colors. And I'm going to bring this all the way back to 12, okay? And I'm holding it out just like this, okay? With the arm. So I'm going to put the 16 millimeter back, all right? This cannot go into uh, 6K. But you know what I'm going to do, right? So, right now, you see a little vignette. This is doing 6K on a, a different lens, crop. I can do 6K. My uh, Nikon lenses can't. The Sony one can't. And I start to feel the camera getting hot, so I don't want to tax it too much. But it's working. Now, this video, I'm going to add over again just this clip. And I'm going to enhance the video through Ecamm and watch what happens. They say, uh, oh, it looks better when you put on better graphics and sound. Well... When you do that, you get a crop. I bet you the vignette goes away. Remember, this is 6K60. I'll say my salutations right now. Thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of stuff. I love playing with gadgets. I like playing with adapters. And I try to show stuff that no one has ever tried before. This is Nikon Z63. And I am signing out. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day. Okay, folks. I tried a little clip. It didn't... Uh, YouTube has done something with there, so it didn't get rid of the vignetting. So I just want to put that in. I'm just going to add the... Uh, remaining uh, clips to uh, this video just a quick uh, thing to show you that uh, what I was planning to do was if I added the uh, better features on the graphics stuff there's a crop added to it and then there's another crop added by YouTube well it didn't work so we'll skip this video, this is intro, or this is the intro to the exit. So, uh, here we go. Okay, just to show you the different sizes. This is a 12 to 28 Z lens, okay? And it's pretty big. You can see how big it is. This is the uh, 26 millimeter. Okay, pancake lens with the lens hit on. Now it's off. You compare the size, this is still smaller with the adapter. So if I took the adapter off, it'd be half the size of this. Just want to show you, you can use adapters with different lenses to get the content that you want to create. Okay, back in the studio, folks. Let's see about that uh, little thing I'm going to do at the end with that last clip. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it in focus. The electric VR is on. Vibration is on. But if I scroll up, And you know where I'm going. Image area. FX. I'm going to put it in crop mode. Okay. Get out the menu. Alright. Now I do have the um, 
vibration on. Oops, sorry about that. I do have the vibration on. Um, it's kind of too bright for my uh, camera right here that I'm recording. But uh, I'm going to turn off the stabilization because there is no vignetting, okay? And what I might do is increase it to, uh, what is it? Turn down the ISO. The f-stop. Let's put a f10. See if this helps. Okay. And I'm recording this by accident, but just to show you, there's no vignetting. Okay. So I'm going to turn this one off. No, I did have it off. My, my bad. I'm now going to go into the menu and turn off the stabilization. Okay. And there's a quicker way of doing it, but I'm showing you this way. So on the vibration reduction, I just turned on electronic and the vignetting went out. So I'm going to turn that off and turn off uh, a regular one on the camera. And guess what, folks? It's a crop sensor uh, lens, but, and I'm going to turn this uh, recording off. I'll put it on this one. And let me start it right now. Okay. So I'll turn that off. So. I put the camera with the stabilization on with the digital, okay? And I did it with this lens. So the, what I did was uh, I still had the vignetting on the 6K, okay? But if it's on 4K 120 or even 4K 60, I turn on I was able to turn on the digital stabilization on the lens and the VR on the camera. So now watch what happens. I'm going to try to switch it to uh, 6K60 uh, and uh, see if I can remove that. I, I could not turn on the digital stabilization on... Uh, different modes, but I found a way of doing it just by going to 4K60 and turn it on. And then you get a crop when you turn on the digital stabilization. And I did that first before I did the camera stabilization. And I also turned off to notify me that the, uh, the I was trying to fuse or um, confuse the camera that I'm in full frame. And it worked partially. It knows it's a crop sensor lens now since it's used to it. So it is learning the uh, lens. But I did fool it with turning on the digital stabilization. And you'll see this.
So, uh, I don't know if you saw it. I forgot I had this on Zoom, but uh, I didn't see a crop on the 4K120 and 4K60 because I already had the digital stabilization on. And I think that's the secret. So I found a way to use the Sony 16 millimeter with no vignetting on 4K120. Also the fact that I wanted to show you that the DX lens that I tried the 12 to 28 couldn't do 6K at all. This lens can. So the Sony 16 millimeter did. It does have stabilization where the other Sony lenses didn't. So this is a gem. This is one of the first lenses that came out. It's a pancake lens. It's f2.8, which is a higher aperture than the uh, DX, uh, this lens that you're viewing the uh, Z6 III on. So I just wanted to show you that. I'm ending this uh, video right now. I know it's going longer than expected. Sorry about that, but I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you for watching. And... Uh, We'll see if YouTube can uh, take care of that vignette problem of that one file. And uh, if everything works okay, because it's only like a minute file, uh, I'll put that in. And uh, I might do the same thing with this uh, last part also. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day. And uh, remember, stay safe. Keep smiling. I'll see you next time.